All right, guys, so I'm going to do a rant on Google Maps, and this has been a long time coming. Google Maps used to be the best app ever. Just pinpoint accurate regardless of what you want to do. You want directions, it pops up real fast, real easy. That was like the last time it worked out great was like maybe like I'd say like eight years ago, nine years ago. So every time I use Google, uh, that's when they had competition. I think that's when they still had competition. Now, this is what happens when you have a company with no competition. They, they don't streamline stuff. Everything is just odd. When you want directions, you got to click three, four things just to get to the directions. That's insane. A lot of times, a lot of times, I don't know why they do that. Maybe because most people who are looking for directions are actually on the road when they're doing it. Maybe it's an anti-driving while using an app thing where they actually make it so hard for you guys to get the directions that 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 you got to stop and then click it three times to get to the directions. Maybe that, that maybe that's why they're doing it. I, I don't know. But it used to be when you put in di, you know a, di, a, an address, it goes you it goes directly to directions. You click on it, it's directions. Now it's like you got relevance or distance. Why would I want relevance? Why would why why does it switch to relevance? Why not just directions? And 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 you know why why list the views in relevance? Instead of directions. I most of the time when people are using Google Maps, they want the closest place. The closest place, the closest nearby place. That's the first thing that comes up, but it switches to re relevance. All right. B. If you're doing putting in an address of maybe of of a location that's like two, three blocks away, it switches automatically to walking this to walking. Not driving to walking. You guys know, you guys know when you when when it switches to walking, it becomes an absolute nightmare to drive to that place with walking. And now that I've actually tried to switch it up, I've actually looked for a switch up to driving while I'm using the map when I'm looking for that direction to a place three blocks away. And I, I, most of the time, I can't find it. 100% of the times, I can't find it. Not most of the time. 100% of the time, I can't switch it to car. Google. Maps. What the freaking hell is this crap? I, 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 I use Waze sometimes. Waze. But that's bought by Google. And I, I, I tend to use Google Maps more than I use Waze. I think I should just switch to Waze because it's insane. And then this situation where I'm looking for the IRS. All right, the IRS comes up. I click on it. It has core. It has reviews. I can't even find the directions button for the IRS. You know, there's like, there's no directions button where you click on it and then it gives you the directions. It, it GPSs the direction to, to, to it. It's insane. <laughs> and I, I actually have to stop my car to make this review of Google Maps. Generally, something that I don't do is do reviews on apps, but Google is a, is the biggest internet company around biggest tech company around one of the biggest one of the top three and you guys can't get google maps right it worked better eight years ago than it does in 2022 all right so i'm just, i'm actually putting this rant out there I, I am absolutely beyond annoyed at google maps it this happens all the time all these things i've mentioned it happens all the time but but it's like one of those things that I, that's a nuisance that I haven't actually cared enough about to put out a review on it. But I'm doing this because of how, because of this. Like years and years and years of frustration. 
of using Google Maps have culminated in today where I'm trying to look for the IRS that's closest by while I'm at a traffic stop. I know you're not supposed to use your phone, but a lot of people do that anyway. I'm at a traffic light trying to find directions. It gives you everything but the directions on a freaking map app. On a map app. It gives you everything but the actual GPS directions to there. And even when I stopped, I'm thinking maybe it's because it knows that I'm driving while I'm using the app. So I stopped and then I looked at it, trying to find the directions. It doesn't even come up. It doesn't even come up. Google, you suck. Google Maps, you suck. I I still use Google Search. I still use Google Search. What else do I use for Google besides Google Search? I use Google as my main search engine. But aside from everything else, Google Maps, I do use Google Maps as my main... But that's going to switch up. That's going to switch up because this hassle is an absolute annoyance. You got to fix that, Google. You got to fix that. I can't be the only person. And you know, I know I'm not the only person who actually has this. I've had... So many people tell me how they do not trust Google Maps. And guess what? Google doesn't care. You know why they don't care? Because Google Maps has absolutely no competition. The other competition that they have is Waze, which they brought out. Insane, insane, insane. And I know you guys have your own experiences with this as far as frustration with Google Maps. Definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe. All right, guys, have a good day.